so honored to see Mother Wagner here. Bless you so much. Honored to just be in your presence. Because it is people like this that authored in this movement in the earth realm for us to begin to police the nations and the generations. And your Bible declares that he came to destroy the works of the devil and then he took it one further. He says, Isaac, when I came into the earth, I did it. Wherever the kingdom of darkness was, it had to move when I came on the scene. Oh, didn't it, didn't it, didn't it? It had to move. It, it had to move. That's why it, when he cast out devils, uh, the Pharisees said, we ain't ever seen nothing like this. How, how did he do this? How, how did he heal this man? And, and Jesus said, uh, it is because a superior authority has come on the scene. See, they didn't want to admit that because what Jesus was coming to show them was a superior authority over the realm of the spirit. So when he cast out the devils, they says, oh, you're doing it by Beelzebub. And Jesus says, no, 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 I'm not doing this by no Beelzebub. Why? Because if Satan is casting out Satan, then his kingdom is divided. Which means the strength of Satan's kingdom is the fact that it is not divided. That's right. That's right. I'm just going to let that, that hang out there. You got to say that. Yeah. That's and right. the weakness of our kingdom is that we are plenty divided. Yep, that's right. And he says, you will never find a demon casting out another demon. You will never find them conflicted in their purposes and assignments. They work in a synergy with one another, never against one another. And Jesus says, no, what you don't want to admit is that if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of heaven has come unto you. <laughs> my God, my God. When, whenever you see the word kingdom, right outside it in your Bible, in parentheses, write dominion. Whenever you see kingdom, just write dominion right out beside of it. And so what he was saying is that if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the dominion of heaven has come unto you. Yes. <laughs> A dominating force or else how can one enter a strong man's house and spoil his goods unless he first bind the strong man uh oh uh oh uh oh <laughs> Jesus did not say I'm worried about the, the demon spirits listen to me getting in my house Because that's what we've taught. That most of our authority is to keep the devil out. But Jesus says, how can one enter right. into a strong man's house unless he first bind the strong man? Which means Jesus was not even worried about the enemy coming against him. Jesus says, my whole assignment is to enter the enemy's camp. Oh, I know you might not can rejoice about that because we've been on the run, worried about devils and principalities and powers, but today this thing flips. The enemy is about to be on the run from you because you've been given the assignment not to keep him out, but for you to go in and spoil principalities and powers. Look at somebody and say, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. The devil didn't ask me to come. The people might not want me to come. The culture might not want me to come. The school system might not want me to come. The nation might not want me to come. My own family might not want me to come. But I'm coming in anyway. Meaning this authority 
Unity is about entering the house. Oh. Hallelujah. Come on. This is not just about drawing a bloodline around your house. Now, thank God for that. But this is about telling the enemy, if I want to come in, there ain't nothing, nothing. you can do to stop. Parents, you get ready and hear me. You're about to see a radical change in your kids because you've been worrying around, praying about it, worrying about it, crying about it. No, baby, you ain't crying about your kids. You go kick the door down and pull them out. This, we're going in. Shout, we're going in. We're going in. We're going in. I'm anointed to go in. I've been authorized to go in. I'm going to kick the door down till I see. See the dominion of God come down. We have been anointed to enter the house. My God. Woo! Come on. Come on. And Jesus says, my authority is such that if I want to enter the house, the strong man has to bow his head. Hi, God. Why am I preaching this? Because the Lord Jesus said this to me. Tell my church, I defeated the enemy over their lives. I spoiled principalities and powers. Yes. So that my kingdom could come to the earth. Come on. I stripped Satan naked and left him a defeated, defenseless foe. Yes. I spoiled every principality and power, stepped up out the grave and declared all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Woo. I am the master of the universe. I sent at the right hand of the Father until my enemies be made my footstool. I am not struggling with the enemy. I have conquered the enemy. But then I handed this authority to the church. To you and I. To occupy. Until I come. And then he said this to me. So anytime you allow the enemy to defeat you, you are allowing Satan to transgress against me. <laughs> 